Hello guys, today we will see an uh, amazing topic or amazing concept about computer programming. You know when we, when we deal with computer programming, we have to type somewhere, we have to run somewhere, we have to compile somewhere. In fact, most of the programming language has their own IDE. Again the term comes, IDE. And today's topic or today's presentation is all about IDE. See when you talk about IDE, it, it is it's three different words. When you talk about I, it's integrated. When you talk about D, it is development. When you talk about E, it is, it is environment. To explain what is what exactly IDE is, we first have to understand why we require IDE. Let's, let's take an example of any programming languages. Let's suppose, let's talk about Java. See, when you talk about Java, in Java or in any standard programming language, you have to follow three things. First, you have to type your code. Second, you have to compile your code. Third, you have to run your code. That means to, to type or program, you at least require an editor. That's fine. When you talk about editor, you always have an editor that is called as Notepad. Then you are, when you want to compile some program, you always require compiler. So we have compiler here. Now when you talk about compiler, in Java, you, the compiler you use is Java C. So it's okay, you have now Notepad, you have Java C, we are comfortable. But the thing is, when you want to run any code, you require Interpreter. And when we talk about interpreter in Java, your interpreter is Java. Basically, this Java represents JVM or the JRE. But the thing is, when you want to type a code, you require Notepad. When you want to compile the code, you require Java C. And when you want to run the code, you require Java. That means to type a code, you require Notepad. To compile a code, you require Java C. And to run a code, you require JVM. That means three different things at three different places. If all these things comes together to form a single environment, you know, you can imagine you have all different things and all of them are coming together to form a single software. It's possible. When you combine all these software at the, at the same place, then it will be called as IDE. Again, my, mark my words, I'm talking about environment where you can type, you can compile and you can execute. Environment. What? For what you require environment? For development. So we have development and this development environment is integrated. It has editor, it has compiler, it has interpreter. So you have I, D, E. And for C language you always require some compilers. When you go for Windows you have just one option to run C program that is Turbo C. Most of, most of you have already used Turbo C, right? When you use Turbo C you have IDE. Same ID. When, when you talk about C++, you are having Turbo C++ IDE, same IDE. When you talk about Java, you have two IDEs. Basically, we have lots of IDEs. They can, uh, you know, uh, when, when, when it comes to maximum usage, we always go for NetBeans or Eclipse. So NetBeans IDE, Eclipse IDE. So in short, when you want to do any programming language in efficient way, the best way to go for is using IDE. D, E. That's it.